Hi, my name is Bjorn Sorensen. I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to be looking at the bounding box technique for creating weldments in SOLIDWORKS. This is an extremely useful technique that will allow you to control the overall dimensions of your weldment, as well as create your initial 3D sketch for a variety of different weldment shapes. So what I'm going to do is start with a regular 2D sketch on the front plane here use a center rectangle and what I'm going to be creating today is a welding table that's going to be six feet long by four feet high by four feet wide. One of the nice features of SOLIDWORKS 2014 is that it will automatically scale my sketch based on my first dimension. So at this point I'm going to exit my sketch and just create a regular extrusion. So we'll go mid-plane, four feet for my depth, and now what I have is a bounding box that has the overall dimensions that I want for my welding table. What I'm going to do next is just hit Control A. This has the same uh, functionality in SOLIDWORKS that it does in Windows. It will select all, but in SOLIDWORKS in this case it's selecting all of the edges. So next I'm going to open a 3D sketch and using Convert Entities I can convert all of the edges of this cube into line segments in my 3D sketch. I'm going to exit my sketch, expand out my Solid Bodies folder, right click on the extrude that I just created, and delete that body. Now this will create a feature in my tree, a delete body feature, but it preserves my 3D sketch that I've created. So at this point I'm ready to start adding weldment structural members. So I'm just going to use some square tubing. The dimensions are going to be 3 by 3 with a 3 16 wall thickness. And I'm going to start by creating the top of my table here. I'm going to apply a mitered corner treatment and if I wanted to I could specify a weld gap as well but in this case we'll just leave the measurements exact. I'm going to use the same size structural member for the legs so I'll just create a new group here and create each of the four legs as well. I no longer need my 3D sketch, so I can hide it. And for my table top, I'm going to use a single sheet of quarter inch plate. So I will create a sketch on top of my table, and again I'm going to use Convert Entities to just gather up the edges of my table and convert them to the sketch that's going to be the basis for my quarter inch plate. Now I could just do a regular extrude, but what I'm going to do instead is use the sheet metal tools and create a base flange for this. I want to make sure that, of course, I'm extruding up from my table surface rather than down into my frame. So I'll reverse the direction and use quarter inch for my thickness. So my table's almost complete, except that because I specified that each of these structural members should be aligned with the center of my original 3D sketch here, I've added some to my overall dimensions, and I don't want to do that. I want to maintain this as a 4x4x6 four by four by foot cube. So the way that I do that is just left click on my original boss extrude that created that cube, and I need to remove some material from each of these dimensions. So for the width and the length, I just have to subtract 3 inches to account for my new structural members. And for the height, I need to remove 1.5 inches for the structural member, and I also need to remove a quarter inch for the plate. I'm going to update my cut list. This puts everything into cut list folders. And if I measure my dimensions, 
we can see that my length is 72 inches, my width is 48 inches, and my height should be 48 inches as well. So in today's video, we covered the bounding box method for creating weldments in SOLIDWORKS. For more useful videos like this, please subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.